Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and uh, welcome to episode 112 of Darwell20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series. Where today we're having all the funs. That's the plan at least. Um, just messing around a little bit. I did log in today to find my AE system offline. Um, so I added more energy cells. Because, I mean, the only thing that I changed that drastically affected its ability to store power was this connector. Which is, you know... This one's using 4,400, this one's using 6,000. I mean, it's a lot of RF a tick to maintain these wireless connectors. But I mean, I mean, 10,000 is a lot, right? But I mean, it's a lot relative to AE, right? So just gotta find the balance there, I think is the problem. Uh, today, what I'd like, if possible, would be to make another garden cloche and maybe get some tier three seeds. So last episode, we got into mystical agriculture, which is super cool, right? But these, uh, the next stage of this is to get into like mystical agriculture with a tier three essence, right? So there's like nether essence, which I'm pretty sure can be used to like make soul sand and, 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 and nether bricks and nether wart and all kinds of other good stuff. So I might want that one. Uh, iron appears to be a tier three. I mean, we have a lot of that to be fair. Nether quartz is a tier three. Do we have a lot of nether quartz? I mean, I think we have a lot, but we don't have like a stupid, eh, we have a stupid amount. Never mind. I'm wrong. We have a stupid amount. We have a stupid amount of nether quartz. <laughs> uh, soul sand. How are we for soul sand? So we've been making soul sand because effort, right? But if we had a way to like craft soul sand, I feel like, I feel like our next tier three seed will be, I think we know what we want, right? We want nether seeds. Let's do that. Um, that should be cool. Nether seeds it is. Um, so nether seeds basically require some nether work blocks. Okay, cool. That's neat. And, uh, all right, cool. So a tier three crafting seeds, blocks of the essence, right? So, uh, the tier three crafting seed, check. Doesn't look so bad, right? And any tier two essence, from my understanding. And, and, and die counts as a tier two essence, right? So that should be doable. Cool. All right. Um, and then we're going to want basically, you know, 36 EU. So that shouldn't be too long to craft, I don't think. Yeah, it's cooking right along, isn't it? Three, four. Okay. And and then we just need... Ah, you see? Look, I crashed again. Haha. <laughs> um... And then here's the problem, right? So we have plenty of power, right? We have like, technically, like each of these is 3.2 million RF. So that should last a little while, right? And look, the whole network's offline. But if I do that, and I do that, if I do that, the network should come back online and it flickers off and then it comes back on again. And then it's on and it's good. And then when I connect these guys, he stays on and he's happy. That's interesting. That's weird. Anyway, I crashed. There's some kind of crash that I'm getting. I have to troubleshoot. Anywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I roll back a little bit? I might have rolled back a little bit. Yeah, that's a good crash. You know it's a good crash when your game rolls back a little bit. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. No joke. That is, that is some serious business. When your game rolls back, you know you done crashed good. All right, so anyway, back to crafting the seeds. So the tier three seeds, not a big deal. I mean, technically the rollback means that it should have uh, not actually lost the items. So four of you and then nether wart. And I feel like I was searching for nether wart last time I crashed. I have to go back to yesterday's episode and see if that's the case, right? Um, but now if we want, um, Nether seeds. Okay. Uh, and we do that. Look at that. All right. All right. So now we should be able to get a resonating wand. And we're going to rapidly tech up to the point where we have the ability to craft any seed of any type, which will be cool. Right? Poof. Things happened. We got our nether seeds. Beautiful. And for future reference, we can use this to make soul sand, among other things, right? So then, real easy, right? We get our cloche, we hook up our fluid conduiting, like so, and do that. And then the cloche, I think we want it to face this direction, right? Yes, that is accurate. Cool. And then you and you 
And then you just need a little bit of juice. Uh, and you should be good. Look at that. Neat. Looking good. See how slowly it accepts power? I think it does that so it can't be tick accelerated. I'm not sure about that. I'm making that up. But anyway, boom. Now we've got Nether Essence. Sweet. Um, I mean, it can be tick accelerated, right? It's just it doesn't work because you got so much power use. Um, so that's cool. So now I guess what we want to do is do mystical agriculture tier four and see what a good tier four seed would be to get, right? I mean, experience essence would be cool. What's that get me? Bottles of experience? It gets me experience droplets, which I can use to make bottles of enchanting. All right. Um, oh, blaze rods. Oh, but that means that requires killing a blaze. Most of the mob ones, you have to like kill mobs for stuff. And who wants to do that? Not me. Thaumium Essence, though. Hey, what's up? What's up, Thaumium Essence? That might be cool. Thaumium Essence? That's an interesting thing. Fluix Essence, huh? Tanzanite. I like Thaumium. I like the idea of Thaumium seeds, right? We're going to need four blocks of Thaumium, though. Does that sound doable? I mean, I don't even know if we're going to be doing any more Thaumcraft in the series. We might. It's always possible. Do we have Thaumium in here? Th -th 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 thaumium? No, but what we could get is this hooked up to that and do that. I don't know if we're going to have enough magic for it, but that would be a cool essence to have, right? So we need more uh, magical essence. What's got magic on them? a really good question. Wow, has it been a long time since I've done Thaumcraft. Wow, it feels like an entire different world in which I did Thaumcraft. Right? Yeah, three V crystals of different types combined with redstone and a bowl and flint, right? Bowl, flint, redstone, Air. I almost thought I crashed again and I was going to be really upset about that. Please don't make terrible flux things happen. And what else are you doing, Earth? Yeah, we should have a bunch of that, but I'm also thinking we're going to need more of that. Luckily, pretty doable. Did you know you can tick accelerate these things? Including tick accelerating that bit? Yeah, <laughs> it's so cheaty. It's so cheaty. But it's lovely cheaty. Are you done, buddy? Now nah, you're just waiting on Earth. It's all good. Can I do that? Yep. Dyer gets impatient. What do you want from me? More Salus. More of that stuff. Do the things. Pollute the environment. Cause terribleness to happen. No, don't do that. I'm just kidding. Don't make bad things happen, Thomcraft. I'm sorry. Neat! All right, cool, 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 cool. So we just need, you know, any tier three essence, a tier four seed. Now, does this one, which, uh, which, 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 starlight crafting altar? So we're still good, right? So we basically get four U, which wow, we've gotten a lot of it already. Um, the tier four seed, the essence. I mismathed. My bad. Which easily I could have converted Supremium into the blues, but yeah, you know. So you are cooking, cooking, cooking. If I wanted this to go faster, what I would do is put more Inferium in at a time. I should change that recipe. I think I'm gonna. Inferium's always the bottleneck, because that's what you need, like, you know, a ton of. 
right? So what if we, are you done? You are, right? So check this out. I'm gonna take you, and we're gonna change this to stacks, right? So what I'm gonna do is do stacks of this. Um, so that you do stacks at a time crafting. So instead of putting in like, you know, one S and one little bit at a time, it puts like, you know, four stacks in there. Okay. And then we have what we need. Like that. Cool. And that'll that'll basically trick your AE system into crafting things more quickly. Which is always nice. Cool. So this time, right, because we're gonna need some in a minute, but like when I tell you to make 30 of this, watch how fast the crafting process goes. See how quick that is? Way quicker than it was a minute ago, right? Pretty cool. Nice. Nice. Loving it. That's neat stuff, right? And don't forget, you can always like, you know, convert, down convert things, right? So your, your converting essences from one tier to the next is, is free. It, you know, short of the fact that you need that crystal thing, you, you could almost do it in like a compacting drawer. Right, but you need the crystal, so you can't. Uh, so you, Thaumium. Yeah, do that. No, not that one. Do this. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. All right. So that's a cool tier four seed. So if we ever do have to get into Thaumcraft again, we've got Thaumium for days. It's a little cheaty, I love it. Little cheaty, I love it. All right, so then Cloche. Drawer. Dirt, seed, bone meal, water, power. Ta da! Thomium, a four days. That is cool. And then we just have to put there. Shouldn't you actually be working already? Oh, you put Chironite crystals in there, you stinker. There you go. Boom. Now you're cool. Look at all this junk we're getting. Star Metal Ore. Nice. I didn't realize we're getting Star Metal Ore. That is hilarious. Wow, look at all that draconium. Holy cow, that's a lot of draconium. When draconium gets into the first row, you know you've done well. <laughs> you've done well for yourself, Direwolf. You've got 23,000 draconium. In before somebody says, well, Soren would. Don't even pretend you weren't thinking it. All right, so now we've got the garden cloche. We've got our thaumium seeds. So let's get, you know, four of those guys and get... A mystical agriculture tier five seed, right? So what's tier five that we would like? Diamonds, emeralds, uranium, and platinum. Ooh, void metal, you say. Rock crystal and draconium, right? So I think we're good on draconium, like we just learned, right? But how are we for like diamonds and emeralds? I mean, we're we're good on diamonds. We're probably equally good on emeralds. Like we have a stupid amount of everything, right? Rock crystal? Rock crystal, maybe? Maybe? Oh, you need supreme ingots for that. Look at you. Now we're getting into the expensive stuff. And this is where we're going to start needing the iridescent altar, right? Um, so at this point, we're cool. We do need supreme ingots, but unless the recipe has changed, and it doesn't look like it has, it's pretty easy to make. So I should probably teach those recipes, right? Um... Mystical Agriculture Tier 5. So, I mean, I could make any one of these, right? It really doesn't matter. Um, but I guess Rock Crystal would probably be the best. So what do you do? You make Rock Crystal Ore is what you do. Well, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, I see how that works. And that makes sense, right? Um, so, like, Void, Rock, Platinum, Emerald diamond uranium okay fair enough so i think rock crystals where we'll go we're gonna need one two three four five six seven eight celestial crystals which i don't love the idea of needing that many of them 
I mean, we do have this automated thingy over here. Like, how many of these stupid things do we have, right? Let's be honest. Oh, that's right, I turned most of them into the haste acceleration ritual thingy, didn't I? Yeah. Maybe I'll just make diamonds or whatever, right? Diamonds should be fine. Let's just do diamond. Diamond's fine. We can always get one later if we want. But the, the point is we need supreme ingots, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight supreme ingots. And we're going to need eight diamond blocks. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And then we're going to want um, some premium ingots. So let's uh, get this thing going. And in, in fact, we should teach you insanium ingots. Probably a smart move. Whoops. Cool. I gotta say, I love the add-on that makes it so that you can just straight up craft this stuff without actually having the resources in your AE system. Literally the best. It makes it makes using AE a lot easier because it's way simpler to make patterns, right? Like without that, what would happen is I would have to actually make each of those ingot types before I could, you know, teach the pattern, right? So for a Supremium, we want ADU, which should be no problem to whip those up, right? Cool. And then we need a tier five seed. And they also need a whole bunch of tier five essence, right? So diamond seeds, whoops, I always forget. So diamond seeds will need the tier five essence, this, 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 and then we need four blocks of supremium, right? So that shouldn't be a problem. Considering how much of that stuff we have. That's a lot of essence, by the way. Love it. All right, so we know that that's what we need to get this thing going. But before we can do that, we need to upgrade said altar, right? Like, that's what's up next. So it's, uh, it's a little bit of astral time for us, right? Which one of these tomes actually has something in it? Constellation tabs, research. No, it's this one. Yeah, it's the other one. I should really just like void the wrong one, shouldn't I? This is the right one with all the, the things. So let's get this guy and just void him. You know, put him in here. How's that? That sounds smart. So I have a backup of it just in case. Not that you can't craft it super easily, but you get the idea. All right. Uh, so we need to go into attunement, or is it constellate? Is attunement where we're at? Iridescent altar. Yeah, this is what we got to do. Uh, yeah, that's what's up. So we need that, and then we just need to expand the the top bit a little bit. So that shouldn't be too bad. So let's prepare all these things. So it looks like um, for the iridescent altar, okay, uh, basically any four marble. So let's also start prepping what we need here, right? So basically any four marble. So bricks, you just won the, the lottery, right? So iridescent, All right? We're also gonna need four resonating gems, which we know is pretty easy to make. Get the reservoir, cook that bad boy up. By the way, once we do this, this process will be way better. Ding! Loving it. All right, so that's those four things. I like upgrading this altar, by the way. It's a good time. Uh, all right, so the next thing for iridescent altar. So that's those four. That's those four. We're going to need four buckets of liquid starlight and four runes of capacity. Okay, so rune of capacity doesn't look too bad imbued slate that's a tier three altar guy right and i'm we're definitely at tier three because we need to be at tier four so you go in there and then we really just need some blank runes right so for that
we grab whatever orb. I guess the apprentice will do. Bada bing. Cool. Root of capacity. We need more stone burn. We have those on, uh... That's just, uh, polished stone with 8 GP, right? Do, 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 do. Hey, where's my... Oh, that's right, I automated it, didn't I, at some point. I should teach you stone burn. That's what I should do. Who knows when you'll need to know how to make that, right? So you're cooking, cooking, cooking? Nice. And because I'm impatient. Three, four. Nice. All right, so that wasn't so bad. What else we got to do to make this there bad guy? Right, so runes of capacity are used for... Right. So we've got our resonating gems. How about just four quick buckets of starlight? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That also should not be really much of a problem. Okay. Then we have to figure out what these lenses are all about. Uh, and we also have to figure out this. Draft of Angelus. Angelus. Increases the max hit points of living armor by 200. Okay, so that's cool. So that's going to be neurotoxin and antiseptics. Pulverized gold gas. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got some work to do downstairs in that fancy little thing. So we have one of those things. We just have to go through all the crafting processes for it, right? And I'm pretty sure it's okay, right? So we have a master blood orb. So hopefully, and then we need draft, right? Draft of Angelus, right? So first off, pulverized gold, weak blood shard, fermented eye, and gas tier. Gas tier, fermented eye, needs sugar. I don't have any extra weak blood shards. I find that hard to believe. I do have weak blood shards. Yay! I knew I would have extra weak blood shards. Come on, direwolf. Don't be fooling with me. All right. Angelus. All right. Gas tier, weak blood shard, that. Pulverized gold. Pretty sure you know how to make that for me nice and quick. relatively nice and quick all right so now we need antiseptic which needs plant oil okay so two potatoes and a bone meal okie dokie then so i assume it just goes something like that Sweet, okay. So I'm gonna get two of those to start with, right? Okay, so the antiseptic now needs a gold nugget, wheat, sugar, and both mushrooms. So gold nugget. I'm gonna put some things away. Wheat, sugar, and both types of mushroom. Cool. Okay. So that should get me antiseptic. In theory. There it is. Cool. Plant oil goes away. All right. So the antiseptic is the only thing using. So the neurotoxin just needs a puffer fish. Ho ho! Puffer fish. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, I can translate clownfish, raw salmon, raw fish. Don't make me fish. Don't make me do it. Resources Fisher. Guardian Essence, huh? What tier is that? <laughs> I literally might. 
<laughs> That's how much I love fishing. <laughs> That's how much I love to fish, guys. I literally might. Polar bears drop that? That's cool. Today I learned a new thing about Minecraft. <laughs> I literally might make Guardian Essence. Oh, I need Guardian Chunks. Fail. I feel like fishing's in my immediate feature. Fishing rod. Guess who's going fishing? Alright, one fishing. And you're gonna give me a fish on the first try. You ready, fish? First try. Dire luck. You guys are gonna see some amazing Minecraft RNG in the future here. Come on, buddy. Is this how fishing works? I don't even know. Am I doing it right? I'm recasting because I'm not seeing any of those little bubble things that happen. I'm getting impatient. Can I tick accelerate this? Is there, is there a trick to tick accelerating? All right, this is a bad fishing spot. Come on, fishies. Let's go. I might, I might just come back after I find some fish. There's something. <gasps> I got a fish, but it's a raw snapper. Can I, can I convert that? I can, good. So I can just do this. And then the one of these dudes that's a transmutation dude is which one? All right, I have that stupid thing. One of these days I'll do the smart thing. There we go. Okay. All right, so back. Told you the first time. That Minecraft RNG though, am I right? So Pufferfish goes in there. Neurotoxin? Nice, that's cool. Draft of Angelus. Angelus. Draft of something something. I wonder if that's used in LP. I feel like it's probably not. It's all good though. It's all good. Glad the Master Blood Orb could handle it for me. Come on, Draft. Let's go. Nice. All right. So that's another step towards getting us an iridescent altar, right? The other thing we need is elemental affinity agent, right? Um, so that is an air, water, and lava sigil and obsidian. Okay. I feel like we have a lot of work to do to make that happen, but I think we can also do it, right? So how much of the this thing is in here? That's a pretty decent amount. Will quality of a thousand? I think we should be able to do that, right? So to make elemental affinity agent, right? Uh, we're gonna need a water sigil, which is gonna be sugar and two water buckets, okay? Sugar and two water buckets. Boop, 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 cool, right? And then we need this. And you go with what? Blank slate? Cool. Okay. So then we do this thing. We do this thing. And then we do the blank slate thing. And that should be cool. And that'll make me a water sigil. Which I think acts like an infinite bucket or something like that, doesn't it? Isn't that how that works? Infinite water, anyone? Yeah. Air sigil? Ghast and two feathers. Remember how excited I was when I got this back in the day? Sweet. And this one goes with a reinforced slate. So you, you, you. Cool. And then the last one I need is Lava Sigil, right? And that's Lava, Redstone, Cobble, and Coal. So Lava, boop. Redstone, Cobble, and Coal. So you guys all go together. And would that be a tier three slate? I guess we'll find out. That is a blank slate. Oh, really? Okay. Cool. Okay. 
Okay. Alchemy Array does his thing. And then we need Obsidian, right? To combine all these. So this plus this plus Obsidian plus the Lava Sigil gives me my Elemental Affinity, dude. And that is another component of what we do for that. Sweet. So that is pretty cool. So these two go together. Okay, now the last piece I need are these two colored lenses. So I need a spectral lens from Astral and a regeneration lens from Astral. Okay, so we're going to need two glass lenses. And we may have some of those or we may not. I think we can get them with glass panes, can't we? And I feel like I need my reservoir to be ready here and there. And everybody else is cool? Okay. So that's one. When you get used to tech accelerating it, you're like, is it broken? What's taking so long? Why is it so slow? Oh, right. I'm used to tech accelerating it. All right, so then uh, we need regeneration and spectral, right? Uh, so regeneration is a ghast, two aquamarine, two stardust, and a diamond. Two aquamarine, two stardust, a diamond, and a ghast here, right? And then there's your regeneration lens, boom. Go Astral Crafter, go. With all the particle effects. You gotta love Astral Sorceries, like, everything. <laughs> I just do. I think it's such a cool mod. I think it's such a well-developed and well-made mod. You know, what else can I say? Uh, and then Spectral is gonna be two Illumination, two Resonating Gem, and four Stardust, right? Okay, so that's cool. What's interesting is um, you can make that. Oh, there's the machine blueprint. Where that's interesting. Do you need those in bulk for any reason? Not really. You can use them to make a Gaia Guardian thingy, Gaia Spirit. That's interesting that you can craft those in that pack. Usually, you only get those from killing the Gaia Guardian. Oh no, you need those to make Benetoit. <laughs> we have a future, guys. <laughs> oh, guess who's killing the Gaia Guardian in a future episode? Plus needing quite a few other things that look complicated. <laughs> oh, hey, guess what we're going to be automating? Guess what else we're going to be automating? Tier 5 altar. <whistles> so we are getting into some crazy shenanigans. We certainly are. All right, distracted. Back on, back on track. Over here. You, buddy. Do the thing. Dyer got distracted by what's going to be future auto-crafting painfulness. I mean fun. I said fun, right? Did I say fun? I meant fun. And I think that's it. So now we should be able to take this lens. I already have spectral up. But this lens and go. How cool is that? All right. Now, I think we have everything we need, right? So, da, 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 da. cool. So, you make this, and then we're good. And we can upgrade this guy to the next tier, and then we'll be ready to rock. It's a good thing it became nighttime, because I can only imagine. Oh, we need a celestial crystal. Okay, well, we can get one of those. I'll just snag one of my crystals over here. Realistically, what I should be doing is, is making you dupe again. Get to work, buddy. I'm gonna forget about that and come back later and have like a thousand crystals. We, we like you guys are aware of that, right? Hey, look, we're ready to go iridescent altar. Sweet. Oh yeah, it's big time upgrade time. 
Look at it going, guys. It's doing the upgrades. That's one of my favorites, what's on the floor down there. Like, that's so cool. My vision expands, radiance. Look at that. How cool is that? And look, we already placed, like, the proper... Or, or actually, whoever made this structure for me placed the proper bricks there. So we're good. Because Tier 5 is just the same as Tier 4 with a couple extra things. Nice. All right. So now, if we want diamond seeds... So here's the question, right? It looks like there's some kind of thing there. So it looks like we need a nether star somewhere. I forget where that goes. But I don't think it's too bad. So give me all you guys. Oh, well, that's platinum. Never mind. That's why. So you should be cool. And like, do I need a constellation? Or you know what? I think I need is the spectral relays. I think one of these goes here. It looks like it only needs one item. Um, but it might need a constellation. So let's look at the astral tome and remember how radiance chapter works. So by the way, that thing that I said I want to make is this. That's a cool thing. Um, so all these things basically come down to, uh, oh, the observatory is nice. Cool. That's super cool. Enhanced crystal attunement, mantle of the stars. Ah, da, da, da. Doing so requires a focus for cons. By placing a tuned crystal into a special slot on the altar, it should be able to filter and direct the starlight for the crafting process. This allows for more complex and more powerful crafting recipes. So we need an attuned slot. We need an attuned celestial crystal to sit here. Now, if we look at the diamond seed recipe, we'll see what shape that is. So that's like, what, 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 dude is that? Constellations. Mineralis. Okay, so we need, does it have to be a celestial crystal? An attuned crystal into a special slot. Okay. Uh, so we have rock crystal ore. Look at that. So my question is, can it be any, can, can rock crystal? So let's get mineralis going here. Put my magnet back on before I start losing things. I mean, it's a good thing it's nighttime already, so that makes my life easier. Mineralis, please. Uh, you. Where is Mineralis? There you are. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm like, where's my sparkles? So is Mineralis not currently in the sky? That would appear to be the case. So what we're going to do... What I need... Oh, what would super be useful? Is that Draconic Evolution clock turner thing. Getting distracted again. Getting distracted again. But where's that thing? You know what I'm talking about. The thing that makes it whatever time I want it to be. Don't look too bad. Just gotta figure out another dragon egg, which should be doable. Should be doable. All right, we just need more dragon stone. Look at that, boom, we got another dragon egg. How cool is that? So now what else do you need? So you need the, the clock dude. Couple redstone blocks. Uh, and then you just need a wyvern core. Which shouldn't be too impossible. How long is that going to take to craft? Not too long, just a million steps. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so we'll know that Mineralis is in the sky when this thing decides to behave itself. Oh wait, we're also missing a thing here, so that doesn't help. Hey, there we go. Nice. Well, we're gonna want that thing anyway. So hopefully a basic dude will be cool. Right, and I think it will be. So you enchant that crystal, do the magic. Just in my mind, I'm thinking about like all the code that went into making these particle effects. I'm just like, uh. So I think if I do this now, so you've got Mineralis. Look, now you can see Diamond Seeds, right? All right, so now check this out. We're gonna hit this guy. And look, Mineralis being painted on the ground. That's just beautiful, right? And look, it's telling me I need another star there. It's showing me another star. So I place it, and then it's like, we're good to craft, dudes. How great is that? I love, I love Astral Sorcery's crafting mechanics. They're so good. Ta-da, Diamond Seeds, what's up? All right, now Cloche and all the other good stuff, right? So bada bing, bada boom. And we are super close to having, ugh, I forgot my key. We're super close to having, there you go, thanks buddy. You here, you here. Boop. Boop. And that's cool. All right. Give you a little kickstart, as is our want, typically. You can go there. There's your diamond essence. And we are cooking right along. Diamond essence for days-ish. Not really. But you get the point, right? Nice. All right, so awakened draconium seeds. Now things are going to get a little ridiculous, but it should be doable. Unfortunately, though, it's wrapping up points, so it ain't doable today. But I got this thing, so that's nice. So we'll play with this thing later. Um, I'll probably just drop it over here so that as I want to manipulate, you know, the stars and whatnot, I can totally do that. Sweet. All right. Um, and we'll obviously need flux point for you, right, buddy? Because you need power. All right, for now, Doll20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time uh, and continue having fun uh, with Mr. Agriculture so we can get Awakened Seeds. So then we have Awakened Draconium for days, and that's, like, the legit thing that we want. Um, and just to be clear, right, like, once we have access... We, we currently have access to Tier 6 Seeds, right? So that gives us access to the following seed types. Inferium Tier 6, which are super cool, right? Uh, nether Star Seeds. <laughs> they make Nether Stars. Um... Dragon egg seeds, they make dragon eggs, uh, and awakened draconium seeds. So that's all fun times. You need to block another stars for the extended crafting recipe, but most of these things seem to be. Oh no, wait. The dragon egg seeds is a different constellation, as is nether star and inferium. But awakened draconium is mineralis. You can also get neutronium seeds. How cool is that? All right, we're going to totally have to do this because neutronium is going to be a thing. All right, for now, though, I'm signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.